reasonably level. That's reasonably in the center. And there you go. No, sorry, I, that looked perfect for me. Depending on where you are, you're going to have to move around mm -hmm. slightly, or the camera would have to move around oh, slightly. Oh, the pigs stand up. stand up. So the idea is maybe take it really high and then the pigs are <laughs> 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 so It's only impressive if you're in a specific oh position. Oh my god. That's insane. Oh, we'll have to move your head to get it right. Get on your TV channel. <laughs> Jan, da ist ein kleines Schwein drin. Sieben, da wie geil ist das? Ach so, wait, it's geil. What the hell? Oh, man. Can somebody show you the picture? Ich fand ja gut, dann sieht es aus, als ob du so ein Schwein draufsteht. Ich hab das gesehen. Wenn du das ist bizarre, was wirklich really strange ist, ist das folgende. Like so obviously, the little piggy is down at the very bottom. So it seems going. to be on top. If Aww. I take it off, just to show you, I really shouldn't be doing this. Well, obviously, you take away from the illusion. But that's all that's there. So you've got two concave it's mirrors. Hmm? It's backwards as well. Yeah, and yeah, and it's backwards. Is it backwards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's facing me. Yeah. Now, as a exercise for you in your own time tonight, using nothing but your diagrams of concave mirrors and ray diagrams, you should be able to, well I won't say you should, you could be able to work out how that works there. Right? It's a nice little exercise, it's very very effective, it's very impressive if you get it to work. It shows these ray diagrams, number one, do work, physics actually does work, but what's really impressive and what really took me by surprise is when I shine a flashlight on it, I'm just shining it on his image, on his backside, down by the legs, and again depending on where you are, you may or may not get him there, now, there's an image. Oh yeah, the reason we're doing this. We were talking about a real image. So that is a real image that is sitting there. Remember, most of the times you can't see real images unless you get a piece of paper and form it on the piece of paper. So for whatever reason, go back to your ray diagrams, that's a real image which is sitting there. So anytime you've got a concave mirror and you're outside of focus, there's a real image. The question is, if I shine this on an image, why can light reflect off an image? That's the really, really strange thing. Again, we can explain this using our diagrams too, but for right now I just want to show you. Anyone else want to play with it there or with that? Just so you can see it on your side? Yep. All we do with concave mirrors are explained by ray diagrams. Have you seen enough? In fact, when I lose, I pass them around. Uh, the mirror costs only about $30, which is now only about 20 euros.